On This Spot, New York City, Stories of Pioneering Women Artists. Lynn Drexler would become a famous abstract painter, but she arrived alone in New York in late 1955. Moving into the Evangeline, a Salvation Army boarding house for women at 123 West 13th Street. She came to the city to study with abstract expressionist Hans Hoffmann, whose legendary art school had also nurtured many other great women artists. Lee Krasner, Pearl Fine, Louise Nevelson, and Mercedes Matter. Hoffman helps Drexler gain admittance to Hunter College Graduate School. Prominent artist Robert Motherwell is a mentor. He praises her as a pure painter. Her bright and colorful style evokes landscapes. She was born Lynn Mapp Drexler in southeastern Virginia in 1928. She always kept her southern drawl. In New York, she also made the scene at the Cedar Bar and at gallery openings. She met her husband, John Hultberg, an abstract painter at an artist club Halloween party. They had a difficult relationship with his hard drinking and affairs. The couple traveled before returning to New York in 1969, settling into the storied Chelsea Hotel. There, Drexler supported herself by selling cushions with her handiwork. She shows at the legendary Tanager Gallery on East 10th Street alongside founder Lois Dodd. In 1963, the couple occupy a summer house on Monhegan Island, small and secluded, and 12 miles off the coast of Maine. Drexler creates hundreds of canvases. She exiled herself to the island year-round, braving the brutal winters with a few locals nearby. She lived there until the end of her life. She said, I'd become a hermit, an eccentric. In her will, she left paintings to a few friends. She was never to return to New York, but her paintings did. After her death, her work has been rediscovered and given its due, and she has emerged a hero figure for her intense private journey.